Nigerians own the Guinness World Record. You cannot deny it. You cannot tell me otherwise. You see, right now, if there's any country in this world that collects Guinness World Record as if they are connect collecting water, as if they are collecting moi moi, as if they are collecting chewing is Nigeria. Nobody can try Nigeria in Guinness World Record. Nobody. They're not born you well. You, even America, Europe, everybody, everybody right now is just looking at Nigeria and collect on the Guinness World Record. Oh yeah, collect. If anybody is holding any Guinness World Record now, they are just waiting. They know that ah, if any by any day a Nigerian decide to collect this my Guinness World Record now, it's, it's, it's just gone. Because Nigeria hasn't attempted a Guinness World Record until we need. I've not seen it. I've not seen a situation where Nigeria say, oh, we want to do this Guinness World Record, and then the Nigeria give up. There are so many Guinness World Record Nigerians winning that we are tired of talking about. We are just tired. We can no longer come out and say, oh, a Nigeria won a Guinness World Record as if we're excited. It's no longer an excitement. Nigeria don't turn Guinness World Record to a walk to school. Now it has become something like, today I just got up feeling like I need a Guinness World Record. Ah. Let me break the record. That's how Nigeria has taken it. They make it look so easy. But it is not easy. Nigeria has made Guinness World Record look so easy, my brothers. It is not easy, but what is, what is really going on with these people? They, they just achieve anything. It's like when God said, nothing is impossible with me. He was talking about Nigerians. Because they just... They make everything look as if they don't do it with stress. One boy will just get up, say, oh, I want to do the Guinness World Record for the biggest painting, carry football stadium, invite people, paint the biggest thing in the industry. As if it was a normal something, no stress, no, no pressure, Guinness World Records enter. Now look at this girl now. She just got up, a university student, Unilag, University of Lagos. <laughs> One of the places I love to visit. The University of Lagos, 500, level 500 students. A Yoruba girl, of course, she's in their fatherland. So she just got up. She said, no, today I feel like breaking the Guinness World Record in the longest catwalk. That's just her feeling, you know, that morning. It's like she did not prepare, you know, it's like she slept and she dreamed that. I just want to shake in the internet today. I just want to show Ghanaians. Mm. Because, of course, we need to remind Ghanaians. How many times have you seen them attempt Guinness World Record and it did not go? How many times? Singer turn, no go. Kuka turn, no go. To the point where they have to start faking certificates in Ghana just to show that they have Guinness World Record. It still did not go. Even to fake the certificates, they don't know. They don't even know how to fake it because there are people who can do it well. They, they still failed at that. You understand? So I know that for sure Ghanaians will be asking themselves question. What is in these Nigerians? Do they have a different kind of blood? Do they have a different kind of energy? Their mindset, what is really different about them that every time they want to achieve Guinness World Record, they achieve it as ABC. As if it was one, two, three. So this girl eh, in Unilag, level 500 year old, I mean, she's still a student. Where is she getting the energy? Where is she getting the resources? Where is she getting the inspiration? Don't ask me. You can go and ask her. So she got up. She said, today, now me and Guinness World Record go sleep. As I wake up today, before I sleep in the night, I will be crowned the Guinness World Record champion. So she said, no, I have to cut walk. Cut walk. Some of you say Nigerians do Guinness World Record. In. Go and do your own, even if it's eating. Do Guinness World Record in eating. Let us see now if you think it's easy. If you think it's easy, Guinness World Record will not put it as a record if it's not a record. You understand? Anything you do that becomes a Guinness World Record, it means that you did it more than anybody in this world. It means that you are the best. Nobody has done it better than you. So even if it's jumping up and down, there's one person that did Guinness World Record in hugging a tree. I think it was a Ghanaian. You understand? That, that is a Guinness World Record. You cannot take it away from the person. Okay, if you think it's easy, go and hug your own tree and hug it more than the person. If you think it's easy. It's not. It is never easy. So this girl decided to do catwalk. And you can see the distance she walked. 
Do you, have you walked before in your life? Some people cannot even walk 200 meters. Some people cannot even walk around. Just talk little. You know, when it comes to modeling, when they say catwalk, it means that if you have to take 1,000 steps, all your 1,000 steps needs to be catwalk. All. If you make a mistake, it is cancelled. Because Guinness World Record doesn't distribute record. They follow you up. They make video. They study. They follow that everything you did was in alignment. So if she had to do that cat walking for that distance, 100 and something, almost about 180 meters, cat walk, cat walk, cat walk. When model just walk two meters, model don't, don't give up. And somebody go walk 100 and almost 180 meters on cat walk, not just normal walk. Your leg go pain you. Your, they don't go tell you how your leg go they feel. But she did it as if it was easy, as if it was normal, as if it was nothing. And she's happy. Got up in the morning, the next, before evening, she's a Guinness World Record holder. So it is a great thing. It's worthy of celebrating. I'm just happy that Nigerians are representing Africa, man. They are making these white people feel like, ah, we should give up. Of course, they should better give up because if Nigeria come for your record, it is God. And I want to ask a very important question. Why haven't we seen South Africans winning Guinness World Record? We know that yes, South Africans doing Guinness World Record or winning Guinness World Record. Maybe they don't post their own. South Africans, please remind us of your Guinness World Records. Do you have any? Do you win any? Uh, do you attempt? Because we don't even see all these Ghanaians. We know that because they want to be like Nigerians so much. They are copying, they are attempting, even though it's not working for them. But we don't even see South Africans attempting. Is it because they have just accepted that this thing is not for us? So we don't have the, the resilience, we don't have the power, we don't have the mindset like Nigerians. So let's not even dare it. Let's just sit. <laughs> is it because of that or what? South Africans, let us know if you guys have Guinness World Records so that we can also celebrate you. Uh, we want to know if you have Guinness World Record so that we will celebrate you. It is what it is, though. Your boy, Ajim Max, on this one again. Come back anytime you're free, guys. God bless you. Cheers.